Hello YouTube, DarkMaven1976 here with another video. This video is an update video on my SoccerCon video, so if you want to know what happened at the anime convention this year, sit back, relax, and enjoy. This year I went as Lady Link. I worked really hard on Lady Link, and gosh darn it, I was going to wear it. I spent two and a half hours in a car as Lady Link, driving to the convention center, this was because, well, I got ready at home and just went there as Lady Link. It was pretty comfortable. The only issue I had was I kept whacking my ears against things. I had that these, uh, you know, he has pointy ears and yeah. But other than that, the ears, the wig, and everything was comfortable. Except and everything seemed to work except when we actually got there. So when we got to the convention center, or the parking garage of the convention center, we all piled out of the car, my husband and my friend and I, and I strapped on the uh, sword to my back and had my shield and I was super happy and I realized I forgot my water bottle in the car. So <laughs> I have never worn the, the sword before. So I wasn't used to how tall it was in the back. So getting this, uh, the water bottle, the handle of the sword um, started to bend. My friend told me, "Hey, your sword was bending." I was like, "It's okay. It's a, it won't break." Yeah, it broke at the handle. So I had to fix that when I got home, which I did. But it's not going to be the same since it's kind of um, bent, but that's okay. I think it was kind of bent before. Uh, I put pin a long pin in it so it won't break off there again. There was a big gap here which I filled in with uh, hot glue and I'm going to have to repaint parts of it. But at least it was fixable and not, you know, <laughs> not uh, totally broken, but it was. I was very disappointed that I couldn't take the sword with me because I worked hard on it and it broke. <laughs> so without the sword, I decided to uh, just take my shield in, and it was working out all right except one of the handles decided to pull off. Uh, the glue isn't very good, so I'm going to have to figure out something else to do with the handle. And the hood, my hood kept sliding to one side. I did put a clip in the middle, but I what I needed to do was put a clip on either side so it would stay in place, which I did when, as soon as I got home. But all in all, the um, cosplay itself worked really well, I think. So this year, I did go with a friend and my husband. The friend handle is a uh, vampire goddess cosplay. She's really nice. I met her at work and we we're probably going to do more cosplays together. She was dressed as Waldo and a lot of people kept saying, hey, I found Waldo, which was expected because she was dressed as Waldo. What we should have done was brought a chalkboard or something and tick off every time someone said, hey, found Waldo. But we had fun. We spent most of the day in the dealer's room and because, again, it was going to be a short day and only a day, so we didn't have time to really go to panels or anything. So while in the dealer's room, I did not go too crazy this year because I didn't have a whole lot of money or time, and I decided to buy two things that caught my interest. Uh, one was this lovely ocarina. I kept passing the vendor's booth and I knew since I kept passing the vendor's booth I was going to actually end up buying it. And this is what it looks like. It's from the Legend of Zelda of course. It's, uh, I believe this one is the one Zelda gives Link in the Ocarina of Time. If I'm saying ocarina wrong I don't know how to pronounce it. That's just the way I'm going to pronounce it. And I get to learn how to play it now. So that will be interesting. <laughs> it's a nice addition to my Lady Link cosplay. So 
yeah, I'm excited that I got that. The other thing I bought is this lovely Sailor Moon statue or figure, I believe. And we were just at, my friend was getting a lovely, lovely t-shirt and I spotted this and I said, it's got to be mine because I'm a big fan of Sailor Moon. And uh, yeah, some assembly was required, but it, it's pretty cool, I think. I really love the, uh, the pose that she has. But, you know, I'm going to punish you <laughs> in the name of the moon. I love this stuff. So while we were in the dealer's room looking around, and we, were, we stopped at this uh, booth so a vampire goddess cosplay can look at t-shirts, something cute happened. This little boy comes up to me and tugs on my tunic. I turn around and he's holding out a wooden sword and says, it's dangerous to go alone. Here, take this. So I take the, the wooden sword and he just stands there and I thought it was so adorable. I did give the sword back because, well, it was his. But I thought that was the most adorable thing that's happened at the convention this year. And his dad, he goes back to his dad with the sword and he's like, uh... The dad was, told him, uh, you were supposed to let her keep that. <laughs> but it was adorable, and I got a kick out of it. So even though it was a short day, we did get pictures. Um, we took a break in the middle of our shopping spree outside and got a few pictures. One with a really cool picture with this, with Skull Kid. He had a uh, the big moon with him, and couple of pictures with just me and my friend who's dressed as Waldo and it was a really good day I think. Going home was actually the problem because downtown Seattle has a lot of construction. They're getting rid of the Alaska Wave Viaduct and they have now have a tunnel but the problem is the GPS was trying to send us on to the Alaska Wave Viaduct to get to the ferry so trying to find where the ferry was was um, not fun because the sign there weren't that many signs the signs they did have weren't really prominent and we were about ready just to head home through Tacoma when we when I just got spotted the sign for um, the ferry and we had to do this really weird U-turn thing. It was a disaster. I hated it. It was not fun. So that is what happened at this year's soccer con. Um, we're already planning for next year. My friend wants to go next year with us through all three days. And we're already co coordinating what we're going to wear. As you know, I've been working on uh, Harley Quinn. She wants to be the Joker to my Harley Quinn. She also is planning on uh, making a Lulu costume. So I will bring Yuna with us and we can do a, a Yuna Lulu cosplay together. Hopefully find more Final Fantasy characters. Also, uh, she wants to bring her, her version of Lady Link so that will be fun. So, that is it for today's video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, gifts of cheesecake, leave them in the comment section down below. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe. And until next time, cosplay safe. Bye.